schedule of activities for an impeachment hearing and plenary, I hereby give the following directions. A, the clerk to issue invitations to appear to the Deputy President today, Wednesday the 9th of October 2024. B, the clerk to issue invi uh, invitations to appear to the National Assembly today, Wednesday the 9th of October 2024. The parties to file the responses within the, with the office of the clerk of the Senate by Monday the 14th of October 2024 by 5 p.m. D, the clerk to circulate documents received from the parties included the plenary hearing program to all honorable senators upon receipt on Monday 14th of October 2024. And the Senate shall then investigate the matter in plenary on Wednesday the 16th and Thursday the 17th of October 2024. The Senate is accordingly guided. Thank you. Any clarification, Senator Fernandi? Mr. Speaker, uh, looking at the directions that we are given, I want to agree with the Senate Majority Leader that this matter is very unique. It is uncharted territory. We are so used to impeachment of governors as we have done before. Mr. Speaker, when you look at our understanding order 78 on Senate standing orders, and also, uh, Mr. Speaker, I needed your guidance and clarity on the process, because looking at standing order 78 on the removal procedure for removal from state office, which includes the removal of the president, deputy president or state office. Mr. Speaker, I want to invite uh, Mr. Speaker to request when you read under, sorry Mr. Speaker, I'm trying to get shed, second schedule of our standing orders, part one, rules of procedure when considering removal in plenary, either the president or the deputy president. When you look at n rule number 12, subject to these rules, the hearing of the evidence, once it commends, shall proceed and continue on until the senator, the Senate concludes the hearing of the matter. So, Speaker, this extrapolates itself from uh, Article 145, 150 in the removal of either the president or the deputy president, considering this is uh, a matter of national interest, and it will involve a lot of process, evidence producing, and many other procedures. So, Speaker, considering the immense would it be in order to request that, as per your direction, you increase even an extra day? You know, Mr. Speaker, they say justice should not be seen, should not only be seen, but to be seen to be done. Oh, okay, Mr. Speaker. Order, Honorable <laughs> Senator. Mr. Order. Speaker, I'm happy. Let the Senator Funandi say it the way he understands it. Yes. Proceed. Uh, and Mr. Speaker, I am directly translating from my challenge in mind, so members will have to bear with me. Mr. Speaker, justice should not only be done, but should be seen to be done, Mr. Speaker. You know, we went to group of schools, some of us. Mr. Speaker, the point I wanted to make is that since the plenary process will, ex will allow Kenyans to follow, would it be in order whether we convict or acquit, because the law house, which was pretrial chamber, and this is the real trial chamber, Mr. Speaker, where we shall be looking and setting precedent for future impeachment. I'm not predicting that there will be impeachment of president or deputy presidents in future, but Mr. Speaker, the point I wanted to make, and I don't know why Senator Sifuna is irritated. You'll have your time. Why are you worried? Mr. Speaker, that is what I, I want to conclude by saying, Mr. Speaker, just add an extra day so that the accusers which is the National Assembly, can have elaborate time to present their case, and also the Deputy President can have the time to present their case. Say so that, Mr. Speaker, when they move to another fora, they will have opportunity of not, uh, of having the opportunity of being given a chance in the principles of natural justice. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for that indulgence, and I will properly be guided. Thank you. Senator Fernandi, as we sit here, we don't know the number of witnesses that will be called. 
We don't know the volumes of documentation that will be filed. And therefore, let us go by the two days that I've communicated. One thing that the Senate will do, it is going to give adequate time to both parties. That the much we are going to do as a Senate. No party will leave the Senate complaining about inadequacy of time to plead their case. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. And uh, uh, we conform to the directions that you've given and the communication that you have also given. And I actually agree to the uh, wisdom of uh, the Senator from Nairobi that this is a matter of serious public interest. And uh, the, uh, I mean, the matter that is before us is so weighty. It cannot be left to the hands of 11 people. Uh, we need to hear it in plenary. And I also um, want to plead, or, or, um, based on two arguments, Honorable Speaker, looking at uh, the communication that you've read, the number of uh, grounds that have been set uh, that f uh, uh, are founded in this motion, Honorable Speaker, of impeachment, there are 11 grounds, Honorable Speaker. And uh, in the experience that we have had as a House, I think this, is, this will be the highest number of grounds that we have ever looked at uh, uh, in, in as far as uh, processing a motion of impeachment is concerned. That is my first concern. Number two, when we last um, uh, dealt with the last impeachment of uh, Governor Fomeru, the reason why we were rushing against time and we, were, we, didn't, have to, uh, we didn't allow members to uh, debate and give their input, and I would not want us to get ourselves in that kind of a situation, that members want to uh, give their contribution, they want to convince the others because the reason why uh, a motion we have to debate on this motion is that I can convince the other uh, members that I think the deputy president should be removed or should not be removed. Um, and we didn't get that opportunity during the last sitting. Why? Because the, the, the days that had been gazetted for that particular um, uh, removal were lapsing that particular day and we had to vote. We had to start voting before 12. So if we get ourselves in the situation that you said that we are processing this motion on Wednesday, and Thursday, and it is Thursday, uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are almost done, done with the proceedings at uh, Thursday, 11.30. Then we don't have time to, uh, to debate. It is uh, upon this reason why then, if, even if we leave the two days that you have communicated, then we need to leave it open that if we find ourselves that we are just done with the um, uh, 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 witnesses, uh, both the accusers and the ones that are being accused, the defense, uh, the defense team, honorable speaker. If you are not able to debate, then we can come the next day, debate and take a vote. We should not then hurry this process as we hurried the last process. And it's not that we hurried it because we wanted. Many members wanted to, go, to contribute. It is the reason why the voting was very uh, ac acrimonious. Uh, that, that, that Thank you very much, Dr. for that. Nyandaro uh, is uh, far, and uh, uh, we have small, small challenges. It was very acrimonious here. You saw many members here, here you know, and it, it was not very neat. I would not want us to. I would not want to find us in such a situation. I wish you would allow that. Even if we get to Thursday, and you have not gotten to uh, debating, you can allow us to come on Friday, debate, and vote. Yes, Senator Wambua. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Just two things. One is on the, the matter of your communication about how then we conduct ourselves from today going forward. Um, as a speaker, you have given direction. These phones. You have given direction, as a speaker, that um, members should restrain themselves from making public utterances, especially on the substance of this impeachment, which is a good direction as a speaker, because we are going into a long weekend and we're engaging with our constituents. The, the temptation to, to prosecute this matter even before it comes here is, is very high. So that caution is good, Mr. Speaker. Um, only that, Mr. Speaker, I will hasten to add that um, listening to 
the public, wherever I go, and I don't go to a lot of places, Mr. Speaker, the whole world, the whole country, is looking up to the Senate for justice to be seen to be done. In fact, there wasn't so much attention on the proceedings in the National Assembly. A lot of people saying, let's wait for this matter to go to the Senate. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this is a time that then the Senate of the Republic of Kenya must demonstrate real leadership. And the prayers that were being made by Senator uh, Cherage uh, and Senator Medu sit very well. That the speaker, the assurance you have given that both parties will have sufficient time to prosecute their cases and to do what they have to do. Mr. Speaker, let that assurance also go out that the judges sitting on this matter will also have sufficient time to, to reason, to, 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 to caucus. Mr. Speaker, and when there is need for even members to take time off 30, 40 minutes to, to caucus and, and, and steer this, this thing properly. So Mr. Speaker, we don't have, I, I would really hate to see a situation where we end up the way we did with the Kawira case, the Governor Kawira case, where the last minute of voting is is so chaotic, the speaker. Uh, uh, the speaker, one or other thing that uh, you may also Senator need to... Senator just let him conclude so that I just give direction on this matter. Let us not prolong this, uh, this debate. Ja the, the, the speaker, let me just conclude by saying that the, the other thing that you may also guide us now and into the debate is try and teach us on the issue of patience. People should patiently listen to others. Ja ja just conclude. And especially when, when I express an opinion that is not in line with your opinion. What is your point of order, Senator? Oh, Kato, my goodness. You really insisted. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, you know, if members will go that direction of Kawera Mongaza case, right. Mr. Speaker, this case is in court. And what they're implying is that what was processed here was not right. Did you like it? So it is not very, very, it is not standing very well, Mr. Speaker, sir, because this matter has not been determined in the court. And one of the issues that has been raised by the parties is that some of the members and the notable, there was no time for, for discussion and all those matters, Mr. Speaker. So, so I think it will not be fair to the Meru County community if we discuss this matter now, because it is an issue which is uh, in court, Mr. Speaker. Sir. Good. Honorable Senators, we shall conclude. No, it's me to conclude, Senator Wambua. Now, this is my direction, and it's very much uh, what I've already directed. Honorable, Honorable Wambua, Honorable Wambua, which floor I have taken away from you? So, Senator Wambua, Senator Wambua, you're out of order and leave the chamber now for the rest of the day. Leave the chamber. We have to be this, we need to be orderly in this matter. We are going to handle a very heavy matter. We cannot have any senator heckling the speaker. As we go to this impeachment, you need to behave, Senator Wambua. Leave the chamber now for the rest of the sitting. Leave the chamber. Leave the chamber. Leave the chamber, Senator Wambua. Honorable Senators, the chapter we are just about to open, the process we are just about to undertake, 
is extremely heavy. The country and the world is watching. Decorum is the least we'll be expecting from members. Senator Fernandi has raised a valid concern. Upon reading these charges, we have 10 days to conclude this process. I have directed that this matter be heard within two days. We have not seen the kind of documentation that is going to be filed. We have not seen the number of witnesses that are going to be called by each party. Once we see the documentation and the list of witnesses, and it becomes obvious that we cannot conclude this matter within two days. We have Friday, and therefore let us cross the bridge when we get there. But one thing I want to assure the country is the Senate is going to do justice in this matter. All the parties are going to be given a fair, they're going to have their day in the Senate. There will be zero complaints after the conclusion of this matter. Let's rest it there, Honorable Senator. Next order. Order number nine, procedural motion to hold sittings on Monday 14th, October 24, and alter the hours of meeting on Tuesday 15th, October 2024. Majority Leader, Let's make progress, Senator Fatuma Dulu. Mr. Speaker. Let's make progress. I beg to move the motion, which is uh, for the Senate to hold sittings on Monday, the 14th of October 2024, and to alter the house, the, sorry, the hours of meeting on Tuesday, 15th of October 2024. That notwithstanding the resolution of the Senate made pursuant to standing order number 32 of October, of, of February uh, order number 32 on 15th of February 2024 and 26th of June 2024, 19th of August 2024 and 17th of September 2024 and the approval of the Senate calendar regular sessions for the third session 2024. The Senate resolves one pursuant to standing order number 34 4C Majority leader. Thank you. May the majority leader be heard in silence. Pursuant to standing order number 344C to hold its sittings on Monday, the 14th of October 2024, starting at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. until the conclusion of business listed in the order paper of the day. Two, pursuant to standing order number 344B to hold a morning sitting on Tuesday, the 15th of October 2024, starting at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And three, pursuant to standing order number 344A, extend its sitting time on Tuesday, 15th October 2024, afternoon sitting until the conclusion of the business lead listed in the order paper of the day in order to investigate the proposed removal from office by impeachment of the Honorable Dr. Eric Kipkoech Mutai, the Governor of Kericho County. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, this is a procedural motion. And uh, we have pointed out that uh, uh, for lack of flair in drafting both the special notice, a uh, special motion such as this, and the order, uh, uh, gathered notice, Mr. Speaker, we found ourselves with uh, the challenge which many of our colleagues are actually discussing uh, right now, where they felt that uh, in handling of an impeachment procedure, we had too much to do within such a short time. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, if you see the way the motion has been drafted, uh, it is until the business listed on the order paper is concluded on that day. So it's not unusual, uh, Mr. Speaker, that, that we leave this house on certain days at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Has happened many times before, uh, Mr. Speaker, because impeachments have got serious consequences. And uh, impeachments, Mr. Speaker, are uh, almost the last resort in a dispute resolution, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, between the parties that are before uh, each of us. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I want to urge 
uh, senators, given if they approve this timetable, next week will be quite a heavy week for senators. On Monday and Tuesday, Mr. Speaker, we have this impeachment. You have just given direction, uh, Mr. Speaker, that on Wednesday and Thursday as well, we have the impeachment uh, motion or procedure, uh, process of the Deputy President. Therefore, a lot of energy is required from uh, senators next week. So all the senators, including the young ones like my kid brother, Eddie, uh, Mr. Speaker, need to spare energy this weekend and so that next week they have a lot of energy uh, in the House, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, finally, uh, is just to note, uh, Mr. Speaker, that uh, this is a simple procedure motion, which I don't uh, expect that uh, there'd be a, delay, uh, a debate about. It's just agreeing on the times so that we can get the response and begin on the process. With those many remarks, Mr. Speaker, I beg to move and uh, request uh, Senator Okongo Omogeni, my neighbor from Nyamira County, to second. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Okongo Omogeni. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir, I, I stand to second uh, the motion by Majority Leader of uh, Majority Leader and Senator of Kericho, my neighbor, and I agree that the matter is weighty. The Senate is on the spotlight. This is the time we need to demonstrate to the country that we are fair. We can discharge our functions impartially without fear and favor. And I second the motion, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Senators, I propose the question that notwithstanding the dissolutions of the Senate, main pursuant to Standing Order 32 on 15 February 2024, 26th June 2024, 19th August 2024, and 17th September 2024, on the approval of the Senate calendar, regular sessions for the third session 2024, the Senate resolves one, pursuant to Standing Order 34, 4C. To hold sittings on Monday, 14th October 2024, starting at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. until conclusion of business listed in the order paper of the day. Two, pursuant to standing order that 4B, to hold a morning sitting on Tuesday, 15th October 2024, starting at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 3 pursuant to standing order that 4A to extend the seating time on Tuesday, 15th October 2024, afternoon sitting, until conclusion of business listed in the order paper of the day. In order to investigate the proposed removal from office by impeachment of the Honorable Dr. Eric Kipkoech Mutai, the Governor of Kiricho County. Honorable Senators, I can see a few Senators lined up here on my screen. So is that the mood of the House? Now let me hear the wisdom of Senator Sigei Wakiri. Mr. Speaker, you may proceed to put the question. Senator Andandulo Fatuma. Senator Nerito John Kenya. Majority and we will not teach him how to, how to chair this. <laughs> asante, 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 Bona Speaker. Uh, bona Speaker, mimi nasumbuka kwa sababu tayari tumejitea katika kitanzi. Uh, kwa sababu tayari tumesema zile siku ambazo tutakuwa tuki, tumezi, tu, tumezitenga ndiyo tuweze kujadili mswada huu. Bona Speaker, ni vile vile kijipata katika hule mjadala lafu kutakuwa na maswala mengine nyeti. 
bwana speaker naona tutajipata katika tu ile sehemu ya kwamba hatuna muda wa kutosha kuyaangazia yale masuala kindani kwa sababu tuwezi tukasema tutaenda siku lile nyingine ambayo ni siku ya Wednesday kwa sababu tayari tume tumeweka tume tumeitenga tume kwa shughuli nyingine kwa shughuli nyingine tofauti so kwa hivyo bwana speaker uh, ninasema kuendelea mbele bwana speaker pengine tungekuwa tu tukijipatia muda zaidi lakini naunga mkono bwana speaker kwa oje hii seneta kinyo kwa oje hii tuko nayo iko wazi kabisa ya kwamba ijumaine tarehe 15 afternoon sitting tutakaa mpaka tumalize biashara business list and in the order paper of the day so that is why the majority did and advised Senator Ndo Kech to preserve Mwenanji over the weekend so that even you can sit up to 6 a.m. On, on Wednesday morning until we clear the business, that will be listened on the on the under paper. It is not specific on the day. It is until the business on the under paper is concluded. So it is not specific to midnight on Tuesday. It is until we clear the business. So I think you can also familiarize yourself with the with the under paper when before or even when the question is put. There Honorable Senators. I put the question that notwithstanding the dissolutions of the Senate made pursuant to standing order that the two on fifteenth February twenty twenty four, twenty sixth June twenty twenty four, nineteenth August twenty twenty four, and seventeenth September twenty twenty four on the approval of the Senate calendar regular sessions for the then uh, session twenty twenty four, the Senate resolves one pursuant to standing order that the four four C to own sittings on Monday, fourteenth October twenty twenty four, starting at nine AM to 1 p.m. and to 30 p.m. until conclusion of business listed in the order paper of the day. And two, pursuant to standing order that the 44B to order a morning sitting on Tuesday, 15th October 2024, starting at 9 a.m. Uh, to 1 p.m. And three, pursuant to standing order that the 44A to extend its sitting time on Tuesday, 15th October 2024, afternoon sitting until conclusion of business stand in the order paper of the day. In order to investigate the proposed removal from office by impeachment of the Honorable Dr. Eric Kipko H. Mutai, the Governor of Kiricho County. Will as many as of that, that opinion say aye? Aye. Will those of the contrary opinion say nay? The eyes have it. Next one. Order number 10, motion, report of the 9th Interparliamentary Union Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians held in Hanoi, Vietnam from 15th to 17th September 2023. Senator Mevdu was to move this motion, but I cannot see him around. Next order. So this motion is deferred until uh, next 